Hi, Dave Smith, DJS Photography. So this is the morning of day three on my Scandinavian tour. I spent last night in uh, Bodo, which is, uh, I think, kind of over there. I think you can just see it in the distance. About 30 kilometers from this spot here. Uh, I'm spending tonight there as well because um, I figured in my research that this was going to be a pretty rich area for spectacular scenery shots and I've pulled into this lay-by just here off the road uh, because I saw this site uh, just behind me and it's uh, pretty staggering I'm sure you'll agree. I'm on my way to uh, Saltstraumen this morning. Um, there is the site uh, of uh, reportedly one of uh, the largest maelstroms in the world. Uh, a maelstrom is um, like a whirlpool in the in the water. Uh, at Saltstraumen is a place where two uh, fjords meet and the uh, the shift in the tides cause uh, the the inner fjord to kind of <laughs> empty into the outer fjord when the tides go out. Um, you and vice versa of course and you you effectively get um, uh, a waterfall in the middle of the uh, in the middle of the fjord uh, and the difference in height can be over a meter i believe and the maelstroms can form to a depth of five meters or more not sure what it's going to look like but i'm going to go down there and uh, i'm going to hang around until it actually happens they happen every six hours and i have no idea what the timetable for it is i've tried several times to locate it online but all, all that i ever see is uh, or go to the tourist information office and get the timetables. So that's what I'm going to do, and I'm going to hang around until uh, until the thing happens, and then I'm going to do uh, a time lapse video of that. But I was on my way down and uh, saw this site, and I thought, well, actually, you know, I'm just going to hang around and take some photographs here. The shapes in the rocks are incredible. The sky is not brilliant, but it's uh, it's got some texture to it. So uh, I've shot uh, a panorama. Um, with the Nikon. I've shot a couple of uh, wide-angle shots with the Nikon. Uh, I'm going to break out the uh, Fuji now and do some uh, black and white film and then I'm going to be on my way down the road to Saltstrom which is only a few kilometers in that direction. Anyway, so day three. Uh, I will keep you uh, up to date. I'll do another uh, snippet when I get to Saltstrom so you can see uh, what's going on there. Um, I hope this is of interest and uh, and, and people are um, enjoying the sights. Just some technical details. The um, panorama that I just shot, I shot with a, a 50mm lens and that's a, a horizontal format for the camera. So it'll be quite a uh, it'll be quite a wide panorama. Uh, the light is quite low, so uh, not drastic, but quite low. Um, and then uh, I shot some wide-angle uh, 14mm uh, views, uh, and I may also shoot um, uh, a couple of infrareds of this as well. We'll, we'll see how things go. So that's it. Um, Installment one, uh, day three. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. Hi, Dave Smith, DJS Photography. Uh, this is uh, where I was headed from the previous spot. This is day three. I'm at uh, Saltstraumen, uh, and this is the Maelstrom in pretty much uh, pretty much full flow. Uh, I arrived here uh, actually a little bit too late to uh, to do the time lapse that I'm interested in doing. Uh, this started. Uh, the incoming tide starts at around 11 uh, at this particular time slot and goes on well I, I arrived at 11.15 and it was in full flow and it uh, certainly hasn't abated since so uh, I'm suspecting that it uh, that it lasts quite a while uh, but I'm not too worried about that it uh, happens again at uh, 5 o'clock so I'm going to have some lunch in the cafe nearby there's uh, plenty of opportunity for photographs in this little bay so I'm going to hang around here for a while and I'm going to make sure I'm back here for maybe around half past four and then I'm going to set up a, a time lapse not quite sure just yet uh, where that will be but it'll be hereabouts and uh, I'm just going to let that time lapse run then until 
uh, either the card fills or I've uh, done the thousand shots that the Nikon D800 allows little on just 999 I think um, but that'll be later this afternoon but I thought you'd like to see it I've potted around here for uh, I don't know about an hour I guess taking um, long exposure shots not sure that I'm going to like those um, the whole point about a long exposure is to smooth out the water and the point about the maelstrom is really the brutal force of the water which is um, staggering quite honestly uh, you have to kind of be here to see it uh, apparently one of the um, one of the strongest if not the strongest maelstrom in the world here uh, there's uh, two fjords one empties into the other uh, depending on which way the tide is flowing at the moment I think you can pretty easily see it's going that way uh, and this is uh, 150 meters wide uh, so a lot of water flowing through there and you definitely wouldn't want to get uh, caught up in that Anyway, I thought uh, I hope that was of uh, some interest. Uh, I hope you enjoy that, uh, and I will be back here later on uh, shooting the um, uh, shooting the time lapse that I have in mind here. Well, that's it for now. Um, if uh, if I do move away from here and find somewhere else, and I may do, uh, I will do another little snippet, and I hope that people are enjoying these. It's day three of my Scandinavian tour. Uh, just. Uh, just outside Bodo. Uh, many thanks for uh, watching. Bye for now. Hi, Dave Smith, DJS Photography. Here again, day three. Uh, I decided not to stay at uh, Salt uh, for the uh, for the next uh, for the next bout of the uh, Maelstrom, because the road out there is uh, is actually Road 17. It's generally considered to be one of the most scenic uh, routes in the world, actually. Uh, and uh, you know, it appears in all kinds of lists of these things, uh, so I believe. So I decided that I uh, had several hours, and I do want to be back at the Maelstrom uh, before it kicks in. So what I'm hoping to do is to get there, uh, get set up certainly by around 3 o'clock, and then just let the time-lapse images um, take on. Uh, from there uh, for probably a, I'll probably stay a couple hours maybe three uh, so I had a few hours to kill it was around uh, half past twelve when I left so I had been sort of pottering about taking various shots for about three quarters of an hour there this morning and I drove down this road and of course uh, came across this uh, little spot here and it's it's kind of archetypal Norway, I think. It's uh, where I am here. It's a little kind of pool. The water's rushing in over there, uh, carrying on down here. And just beyond that bridge is a is a sizable little pond there. Uh, loads of little fishing huts and fishing boats. Uh, and clearly, this and you just saw uh, a, a trailer go by with the boat on the back there. This is clearly where people come to fish. And there's lots of adverts for fishing cards and all the rest of it so uh, I pulled in here take some uh, images uh, I did um, I did a kind of triptych not a panorama but a triptych around here um, with the um, little stopper uh, filter uh, which cuts six stops of light uh, I, I felt that uh, ten stops for the speed of that water would be just too much um, and by the looks of the back of the camera, the little stopper has really done a good job. Uh, so I put that on, uh, six stops, did a, a, a triptych. And then I put the uh, Fuji. And the Fuji is a, a wider lens than I was using on the Nikon. I used the 50mm lens on the Nikon for the uh, triptych. The Fuji is a 65mm lens, which is probably about 28mm. Uh, uh, I would guess in uh, 35mm format uh, so it's a much wider lens uh, and I shot a diptych uh, with that one in that direction and one in that direction uh, and I think I think they'll look pretty good uh, the exposures were nice and long so the water will be smoothed out there's a little kind of eddy pool here that should look pretty good uh, so that's uh, that's kind of been my second set I carried on uh, along the 17 uh, route here but over these uh, over this set of hills here uh, the weather deteriorated pretty 
pretty horribly actually. It looks over here like it might pick up a little but it's pretty awful over there uh, and raining and miserable and uh, steel grey. So I came back and shot this. Now I'm going back to uh, Saltstraman um, where I will potter about the uh, I'll potter about the bay for a while. I'll go up onto the top of the bridge. There's quite a view from up there. Uh, and then I'm going to go down and shoot my time lapse, and that will be me for uh, day three. Uh, I hope uh, I hope this is enjoyable. I hope it's uh, of some interest. And thanks for watching. Bye for now.